All right, right before I go to global, I just got to I got to get this last pull out of my system. I actually I just couldn't help it. I did two more multis on the Broly banner. I it's desperation probably, but it is what it is. After this, I'm going to do this, then the free multi and then it's out of my system. If I get Broly, that's great. That's amazing. I have a full power team waiting for him. I'd appreciate it greatly. If I don't, then uh, whatever. Then I don't. What are you going to do? Uh but I figured, hey, why not? I mean, you got 50 stones. Might as well burn it, right? So, let's see. You got your boy Gold, though. That's a good sign. Nappa, he's a saying, right? King Cold. Uh, Android 16. Um, obese Man. Uh, right? King Cold again. Jeez, this is a terrible... Like, this is a terrible multi. Wow. That's that's terrible. You know, you know what's funny is that the multi I did before this, I actually did get one of these, so... It looks like Super Saiyan 3 Broly has been substituted for full power cooler. So, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? So, here we go. Here's the free um, multi. Here we go. This is the last hurrah. All the troops are going in. The Vanguard. Everybody full force. Come on. All right. Let's see. Um, okay. Paragus. That's a good sign. He's Broly's dad. I mean, how could Broly come if you don't have Broly's dad in the mix? Uh, Janemba again for the millionth time. Frogman, all right. Isn't his name Gokua or Kogu? Something like that. Something wrong. Uh, Deborah, that's good to see. Majin Vegeta. I always forget that you can get him. I was, I don't know. I feel like they, they snuck him in as a mini banner. So, there you go. I did three multis. In my defense, in my defense, the first multi I did on this banner was by accident. I had a, a script running and it just did it. So I was like, listen, you gotta do the other two. You can't just leave it. But did not get Broly. That is set in stone. So when it comes to global, I'm I'm sure since I got shafted on JP, I'm gonna get whatever I want on global, right? Am I right or am I wrong? Speaking of global, let me just say, right now, if you look at the world tournament ranking, it may be different than when you first got your rewards. Because when I first got my rewards, I noticed it was pretty high. Like I stopped around 3,000. As you can see, 3,033. But when I got done with the World Tournament, I saw it was like 1,200. I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, I didn't think I was in the top, like, almost 1,000. And what ended up happening is that on Global, there was actually a glitch. A lot of people got banned, and they did not get their uh, rewards immediately. But it's it's all right, because uh, Bandai made it up. They ended up giving people their rewards and then two Dragon Stones, which is... It's pretty funny, because in the past, there were glitches and things that happened similar to that on JP, and then, like, literally... The rewards went out twice. People got stuff. But the thing is, the reason why people are so upset is because, first of all, you didn't get your reward. Second of all, like for me, say I was in the, I was 1,200. Say if a bunch more people were banned and I was in 900, I would be technically in a better ranking. So people that didn't grind as much were rewarded. So, you know, for me, I was in 1,200, so really nothing really changed. But if I grinded a little bit more and I got to say, let's say I end the tournament at, you know, 2,000, I would have been in the top 1K. So people are kind of salty because of the fact that people who didn't grind as much were rewarded better. You literally got better rewards uh, if you were, you know, first people who did not get banned. Um, well, not banned, but you, they just had the rewards withheld. Um, but it is what it is. Global is just like, it's not that important. In Japan, like, if you make a mistake in Japan, they're going to fucking cut your balls off and serve you to a fucking, like, for hot dinner, so... That's why usually Japan usually have better rewards as opposed to two Dragon Stones. But here you go. Here's the cell. He's a handsome guy. I actually have him on the team. I'm planning on using him right now. He's actually pretty good. He's slightly better than the free five cell you get from the GT event because he has attack and defense plus 30% uh, for extreme. And he also does defense minus 50% for only super type enemies. So I'd say he's pretty good. He's not that bad. And you can get him to SA10 using the AGL cell from the cell event. So, that's kind of a benefit. If you're really crazy about him, you can get him to SA10. But before I do that event, I might as well. I got two SSR tickets. You know me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pulling machine. I like to pull. Pull, pull. So, I got two SSR tickets. I'm going to do it off this kind of more generic SSR banner. I don't really want any World Tournament SSRs, to be honest. I'm, I'm content with what I have. I can't really think of any that I'd be happy getting at the moment. So, all right. One Shout Tzu. That's actually... That could be a good sign. You never know. Chouchu got good luck. All right. Super Saiyan 2. What do you do? I feel like at least whenever I do the guaranteed SSR summons, if he doesn't go at least Super Saiyan 3, then it just ain't going to be worthwhile. By the way, let me just say, 
If you get this STR Boo, you should hold on to him. He's eventually getting either a Dokkan... Oh, actually, yeah, he is getting a Dokkan Awakening, right? That transforming Boo that's supposed to come, like, in January sometime. Uh, he Dokkan Awakens, and he becomes an AoE. So this guy, if you don't have an AoE, he will be an AoE. And uh, he's not too bad. If I remember correctly, he Dokkans. He gets a little bit of a damage boost, and then the AoE, I believe. Um, either way, don't bobble him. I, I always save my SSRs, because you never know. Like, what retarded SSR is going to become amazing? Like, for example, Champa. If you have a Universe 16, Champa's fucking god tier. I don't, so he's not. He's kind of whatever. But, um, shit, if you have him, you have him. Ooh, I got another one of these guys. This guy actually isn't too, too bad. I might actually raise his SA with the uh, Trunk Super um, super Strike event. The SGR Trunks. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, he would be good on a future team. Low key. But well, here we go. We're about to hit up the Hit Dokkan event, a.k.a. the uh, Christmas celebration that was a little lackluster. I know a lot of people on the subreddit have been saying that this is like the worst month for Dokkan, which is an over-exaggeration considering the fact that Dokkan has had a lot of months that were shit, at least on Global. Uh, but this definitely is probably one of the worst ones because... Like, the Thanksgiving event was amazing. Like, that shit was super good. It came with a good banner. It came with good rewards. Like, literally just for playing the game, you got, what, what was it, eight SSRs you could choose from that were pretty good? Like, Golden Frieza, the AGL one was there. I was actually going to get him, but I ended up pulling him. And all in all, the Thanksgiving celebration was fucking god tier. And I was thinking, like, every year, Christmas is the banner. Like, it's better than all the other banners. Like, legit. That's why usually I will, like, skip out on the anniversary banner in spite, like, to take the uh, Christmas banner, because it's usually better. It's usually better. Uh, that was not the case this year. It was super shit. Like, it had, what, one 30-stone discount, nothing else. No, well, now every multi is a guaranteed SSR, so they couldn't pull that gimmick. Um, there was no tickets. There's no tickets. And the banner wasn't that great. It's just Hit. Hit is a cool character. Some of the characters featured in there are kind of cool, but it's not that cool. It's not worth it. It's not worth full price. Like, even on the JP banner, like, you get schemed into spending a, a shit ton of stones because you just don't give a fuck. You're like, fuck it. Like, I, I pull three times. I get a free one. Like, wh what am I losing out? Who cares? By the way, shout out to this in Frieza. This in Frieza is really good, dude. Especially on a full Frieza team like this, he links well. But he also, uh, his passive is he takes 30% less damage. And he's also a really good support character because he gives plus two key attack and defense plus 25% for everyone. Um, but even so, like, the Christmas banner usually is really good. Uh, and for some reason this year it was complete garbage. Like, it wasn't worthwhile. It wasn't really worth saving. I think I have right now, like, 430 stones that I was saving for Christmas. But I guess now I'll just save it for the anniversary or I'll save it for, I don't know, maybe... Like I said, if Gogeta and Broly come to Global, maybe I'll be inclined to summon on it, but not crazy, because it seems like the rates aren't too good for that banner. At least it seems like that. I'm not 100% sure. Um, and it also seems like the characters in that banner could have been better. Like, if you saw the summon video I did, I got five, four or five Tech Super Saiyan 3 Broly's, which they could have replaced him with Super Saiyan 4 Goku with the Tech One or, or, or something, like something better. Like, that's an old SSR. And then I got about three SDR Broly's. So the banner doesn't really come with a lot of new amazing SSRs. Like, yeah, there's Paragus, um, which is okay, and also the AGL Broly. But, I don't know, I feel like that's not enough for the banner. Like, the banner needs more... Like, I just feel like banners now, Dokkan has gotten to the point where, like, the banner should not have SR characters. Like, why are SR characters in the banner? Like, just kick them out, add more SSRs, and make it worthwhile. Make the banner characters worthwhile. Like, why the fuck am I pulling Tech Super Saiyan 3 Broly when it's been Eon since he was really relevant, and he's not even part of, like, the leader? You know what I mean? Like, that's what I liked about certain banners in the past. Like, they like, cards usually used to go together, like... You would get, you know, Super Saiyan 3 fucking Bardock with Super Saiyan 3 Goku or something like that. Uh, usually, not every time, but this banner was all over the place. It's like random ass characters. That's like when, uh, like Bandai does it on purpose, obviously, because you get that guap. When uh, Fi Omega Shenron came out, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta was not on that banner. Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku was, and then in the SS4 Gogeta banner, I think it was Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. So basically the idea being that 
you could get Omega, and if you get lucky, you might get Super Saiyan 4 Goku, which actually happened to me. I did do that, but it doesn't go together. Like, the leader skill doesn't link. Like, it's wrong that they do that. Um, but hey, you know, Bandai's better than me. They got a million gacha games. They got a million billion dollars. So really, who should you listen to? The masterminds or the fool? Uh, you gotta listen to me. But why not? Why not listen to me? But, uh... Other than that, really, uh, really not that bad. I enjoy it. At least there's new content. I, I'm really hoping that the Broly event um, comes to global soon. Not even the the um, Dokkan event and the card. More so, I'm interested in the free um, Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta that you get from the event. They seem really good. You can actually Extreme Z Awaken them. And they're not that bad. They're actually pretty good units. Like, And they look cool. Dude, Goku with his fucking jacket on. Looking flea as fuck, like he's wearing some like Kanye designer shit. He looks flea. He looks nice. So I'm looking forward for that event to come towards um, global, at least in some you know relatively soon time frame. Um, let's see if we could keep Frieza. Frieza has pretty good blocking potential, right? He he could block this. Um, but other than that, it's been pretty chill. I actually recently became an elite in Super Smash Brothers. If you play Super Smash Brothers on the Switch. Uh, hit me up. Uh, I don't mind. I'll add people. I usually don't play that heavy. And when I do play, it may be with friends. But every once in a while, I, I'll add people. Although the thing is, with, with the Switch version of Super Smash Brothers, it's like, it's not even, like, it's almost pointless to play with friends. Like, if you play with friends, yeah, it's fun and whatever. But I feel like Solo is better. Because Solo is where you get the ranking. Solo is where you get to play the Elite mode. Which I unlocked recently. Because I have been playing, like, a lot of arena matches. And I just haven't played um, that much of the solo. So I, didn't, I never became elite. And then I'm like one of my friends is like, yo, you're not elite? And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I need that in my life. So I played solo for like an hour yesterday. I ended up getting it. Um, so up to you. If you want to have me, go ahead. Uh, if not, w what can I say? What can I say? As a matter of fact, I'm planning on uploading a Super Smash Brothers... Um, video to this channel as opposed to the a million other channels I have. Ooh, 2.7 million. Ooh, if I crit, he'd be done. Uh, but yeah, I'm planning on uploading a Super Smash Brothers video. Not too long, like a five minute video to this channel. I figured every once in a while I should upload other videos to this channel that are gaming related. Uh, I'll make it unlisted. I'm, I'm not trying to spam people with shit that they're not really looking into. Uh, but at the same time, it's, it's a good video. I mean, I spent some time editing on it. I, I definitely would recommend you watch that video. It's a good video. I definitely would not uh, say that it's bad. I um, actually did spend a decent amount of time editing it, so it's not like I'm a lazy piece of garbage. So let's do that. And then, let's do that. As a matter of fact, here's an added bonus. You know how like, a lot of people will put like, like fucking shit in other videos to entice you to go watch it? I'll go put my Switch, whatever the fuck, username, whatever it is you can add people, that'll be in the description of that Smash Brothers video. So if you want it, you gotta go watch that video and go get it. No, I'll put it, I'll put it in the description, it doesn't matter. But like I said, it's fucking Super Smash Brothers is like all about the solo. That's how you become an elite. That's how you become a goddamn war veteran. Or not a war veteran, more so a warrior. Uh, either way, it's a fun game. So, here we go. Honestly, I can't... One thing that I'm kind of... Ooh, I actually got to go golden. Uh, one thing I'm kind of wondering is um, when the uh, metal cooler, the TUR metal cooler, is coming to global. Because as you can see, this is a Frieza team, essentially. Um, the only difference being is that I don't have, like, the legit Frieza lead. You know what I mean? Uh, and you know what? I'm just going to whiff these attacks and let Golden Frieza take the fucking... Take everything, so let's do that, and then let's get all this AGL, I mean AGL, let's get all that tech, I'm not going to get a Dokkan event, I mean Dokkan uh, attack, but at least I'll get that, um, but yeah, I don't know when uh, the TUR golden, golden, TUR cooler's coming to global, but he would be a really good leader, that's the thing though, like this team is already pretty good, It's and honestly does not really need an amazing, oh man, this super attack is badass, look at this. Holy shit, just a fucking fly. They took that, they legit took this out of like Dragon Ball Fighters. Look at that shit. That's badass, dude. Um, but not as badass as this guaranteed crit. Look at this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on. Eh, critical. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Um, 
but yeah, the, this team is pretty good. If I were to get the um, Frieza category leader, that would be overkill. That'd be fucking nuts. It's a fun team, though. I definitely would say the transforming Frieza is like... This is probably my favorite team right now on Global. The Int LR Vegito is really, really good, and he's a really fun team, but I don't know, man. A full Frieza team, that, that's just fucking fun. So there you go. There to go to hit event. Uh, okay. All right, hit. Handsome guy. And uh, I think I did one multi on that banner. Right now I have 450 so see, that, that just gets That just goes to show that I'm really not vested in this banner much at all. I'll do one single. I ended up getting an SSR on my last single. Maybe it'll happen again, but hey, it is what it is. Christmas banner wasn't the best. The bug being addressed wasn't really the best way they could have done it. Global probably took an L this month, but hey, Thanksgiving was pretty good, man. You can't forget that. Tambourine. How are you going to complain when you get Tambourine? But that's pretty much it. Shit is legit. Like I said, uh, I'm actually planning on uploading that Super Smash Brothers clip or video right after this one make it unlisted won't bother you except for right now when i'm bothering you um other than that happy holidays happy new year and hopefully hopefully the new year celebration is lit for global because right now it needs it bro global is dying right now it needs something the hit dokkan event was all right it's not bad but you need some content in this game either way have a good day hey baby